In the previous video, we were studying the motion of this person here walking along the x-axis. And by contemplating what this person was doing, we came to the idea of velocity. The velocity is the rate at which the position of an object changes. So in the first three seconds of motion, this person here has a velocity of two meters per second. And in the last three seconds of motion, this person has a velocity of three meters per second. Now we're gonna come at this from a different angle. We are going to take this information where the position of the person is given at one second intervals, and we're going to plot it. So I have prepared a sheet of graph paper here with my time axis along the horizontal and my position axis along the vertical. So I would strongly encourage you now to get out your own piece of graph paper and label the axes on your own piece of graph paper in the same manner that I have labeled this sheet of graph paper with time on the horizontal axis going from zero to six seconds and position on the vertical axis going from zero to 15 meters. So in the uh, link to this video, I have included a PDF of graph paper that you can print out. Okay, so I hope you have your own graph paper in front of you now with these axes labeled. And we're going to just start by taking the information in the figure and then uh, copying it into the sheet here. So let's see, at time zero, the person's position is zero meters. At time one second, the position is two meters. At time two seconds, position is three meters. Excuse me, at time two seconds, the position is four meters. At time three seconds, the position is six meters. At time four seconds, the position is nine meters. At time five seconds, the position is 12 meters. And then at time six seconds, the position is 15 meters. Okay, so let's say that we connect these points and see what we get. So let's look at this plot and see what we notice about this plot. Do you notice that there is a change in the slope of the plot right here at time equals three seconds? So from zero seconds to three seconds, we have a more gradual slope for the plot. And from three seconds to six seconds, we have a steeper slope for the plot. Now, do you notice that the shift in the slope of the plot occurs at the exact same moment that the person's velocity changes? So from time equals zero seconds to time equals three seconds, where the person has the slower velocity, then position as a function of time has a more gradual slope. And then from three seconds to six seconds, where the person has a greater velocity, then position as a function of time has a steeper slope. So it seems that there is some connection between the slope of the position versus time plot and the velocity of the person. All right, now, how can we quantify this? How about we actually calculate the slope of the plot between zero seconds and three seconds, and then calculate the slope of the plot between three seconds and six seconds and see what we get. All right, so to calculate the slope of the plot from zero seconds to three seconds, let's use a slope triangle. So I'm going to come in and put in a slope triangle corresponding to this entire segment from zero segments to three segments. Now, when we find the slope of a slope triangle, we need the uh, horizontal leg, that's called the run, and we need the vertical leg, that's called the rise. So if I look at this horizontal segment here, 
This represents a change in time, and the change in time it represents is three seconds. And if I look at the vertical segment here, or if I look at the uh, vertical leg here, this represents a change in position. Now this goes from zero to six meters. So the change in position this represents is six meters. So let's find the slope of this segment from zero seconds to three seconds. Okay, so the slope of this portion of the graph, we can use rise over run. So the rise, that would be this vertical leg, delta x, and the run would be the horizontal leg, delta t. That delta x was six meters and the delta t was three seconds. So it looks like the slope of that first segment is six over three is two, and then the unit would be meters per second. So how about that? The slope of this first segment between time equals zero and time equals three seconds is two meters per second. That is exactly the velocity of that original person in the original figure as that person is moving through the first three seconds of motion. Now let's find the slope of this second segment corresponding to the last three seconds of the person's motion. So again, we will put in a slope triangle that covers the entire last three seconds from three seconds to six seconds. So this time the horizontal leg would be delta t equals, so that would be six seconds minus three seconds, again, three seconds. And now the vertical leg goes from, the vertical leg goes from x equals six meters to x equals 15 meters. So that would be a difference of delta x equals nine meters. Okay, so for that second part, the slope would be rise over run. This time the rise is nine meters. The run was again three seconds. So this time we got slope equals nine over three is three, and then the same unit meter per second. Let's sum up. So in this part of the graph, that represents the first three seconds of the person's motion, the slope is two meters per second, which is the same as the person's velocity in the first three meters per second. Actually, I want to put that in in the figure. And in this portion of the plot, representing the last three seconds of motion for the person, the slope turns out to be three meters per second, which is the same as the velocity of the person in that last three seconds of motion. So what have we learned here? Well, what we have learned is that the slope of the position versus time plot is actually equal to the velocity of the moving object. Okay, so we started by defining velocity as the rate at which the position of an object changes. But now we see that when we plot the position of an object as a function of time, the velocity turns out to be the slope of that position versus time plot. Okay, so that's our big punchline for this uh, video. We have learned that the velocity of an object is the same as the slope of the plot of position as a function of time. So in the next video, we're going to take this result and use it to obtain some formulas that we can start using to solve some basic kinematics problems.